When evaluating a system, the very first step is system certification. Now, all of these steps are steps we take in formal evaluation. Informal evaluation is not nearly this stringent, but the answers you come up with are not nearly as good either. In certification, or the certification step, that involves a technical evaluation of a computer system. You take each component of the computer system and compare that to published standards. That's the process of certification. Once you certify a system or you put it through the certification process, you document the comparisons of what your system does to published standards. The next step is to take this comparison, this technical evaluation, and move into the accreditation phase. Accreditation phase is really nothing more than taking all the documentation you just prepared and formally having it accepted by the accreditation staff. Accreditation staff normally includes both management as well as IT staff. So you certify a system by just technically evaluating it, then you take the results, and that would be submission to the accreditation process. Taking a look at a couple different types of systems, we have both closed systems and open systems. Now, when you evaluate a system, it's going to be far easier to evaluate an open system because closed systems tend to be proprietary, and the standards on which they are built are not generally published. Open systems, on the other hand, require that standards are all based on published standards. The interconnection components especially are based on open standards. It's generally easy to connect to other systems, whether they are similar or dissimilar. Because again, these interconnection components, their networking components, and any other ports, software standards, are all going to be very much based on published standards. So when it comes down to evaluation, open systems typically are going to be much easier to deal with than closed systems.